dry down there. So we're gonna drop some uh, feed in <clears throat> for those pigs. It's a good day. Loading up. Got the whole truck here doing its thing. Coming down that tube. Fire in the hole. Here we go. Couple seconds still launch. Here we go. Make it happen. Make the pigs great again. <laughs> Come on now. Come on, big boy. Give us some action, will you? We cut a hole in the floor, it makes it easier. We drop the feed right down. That's how that party goes. Well, this is our scrap pile. And a lot of siding too, so we're uh doing a little building in here. So full side project. Keep you up to date on this one. All right, so we're a little further along today on the uh, construction project. We uh, pretty much have the walls in. Not fully, but almost. So we're, uh, we're getting that done. This will be a nice two bedroom, one bathroom uh, unit that we're putting in. And I think we're gonna build like a replica down below. So we, uh, we're chopping away at this thing. We're gonna put a little kitchen in that corner, washer, dryer, living room. It's gonna be a nice little setup here. Um, and it'll be good. So we may use this as like a, <clears throat> an apartment for our team and any help. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll make the downstairs an Airbnb for customers that wanna come on the farm. And you can see we have another building out there. It's like a garage thinking of turning that into um, like a guest house slash office slash, um, I don't know, gym slash man cave. So maybe put a little extension on that. So when we took over the property, there was a lot that had to get done here, um, animal wise, land wise. So we uh, were chopping away at that. And now we're moving on to doing some work on on the structures we got a little deck we're building here there's the cows i mean what a view huh you sit up here have a little coffee yeah 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 so that's uh that's what we got digging trenches we, we rented the excavator we um we don't have a use just yet to buy one but that's a great model that's uh that's a cat i don't know 304 e2 i looked it up it's about 50 grand um but you know good machine good machine for sure but right now we're just going to stick with the rental and uh pay our 400 bucks a day i think it was and then 200 dollars for uh transporting it so uh, basically you know what what would be one month's payment on it we'll uh we'll use it and we'll give it back and then turn it over to the next group so I mean, are you kidding me with these clouds today, though? On a side note, we, uh, we're just chopping away. It's a little windy today and a little bit cool. I know our, our friends down in Florida, they're expecting a hurricane. So we're in good shape up here. Uh, you know, we're wishing everyone down south well, for sure. We're hoping uh, that everything moves, uh, moves through, hopefully quick and out, get that done and you know, we can start resuming uh, normal activity in the South. So Lauren and I spent a, a lot of time down in Florida. So we wanna make sure that everybody's safe and well down there and that everything uh, is how it's supposed to be. But the weather patterns are crazy these days for sure. Um, I don't know. I'm not really a climate changer. Uh, there's always been bad weather. There's always been good weather but it does seem that some of these hurricanes can be a little bit aggressive at times but we're not going to go down that uh al gore path can't do it can't do it but anyway just a nice day here on the farm today cows are doing well they're actually they're actually at four bales a day um 
some people have asked us, hey, how do you know if your cows are hungry or not? And listen, these cows, you'll see them sitting down, relaxing most of the day. Uh, they're not bellowing and making a lot of noise, you know. Uh, so that's a good thing. They're not, they're not begging for food. So again, super positive. And that's, that's how, how we know. And, you know, we walk through this herd every day. And, and <clears throat> when you have a mixed herd like we have, and remember, we didn't, we didn't start as a closed herd. So we brought animals in from other, other farms when we first started. And now we're, we're able to look at our, our farm, our animals rather, and say, okay, good lines, not so good lines. Growing well, not growing well. Body type we like, not the body type we like. So now we're able to carve a little bit where in the beginning we were not. So, you know, we're, we're moving along here and we're getting better as we go. But anyway, that, that's how it goes, right? You get better as you go. And, and like I've said in the past, unfortunately, you know, some people come on and say, oh, your cows are, are skinny. And it's like, yeah, there are some out there, like I said, that have a dairy, a dairy influence. And we're working to breed that out and, um, and sort of auction that out. And we're doing it. But our beef cows that are out there, you know, they're holding size. They're looking good. Um, as we reduce our herd size and spread the herd onto some other pastures, you know, those cows are only going to grow bigger and better. And, you know, we do have some smaller framed cows that you know, may not make the cut or they, we may realize that, Hey, that's our most efficient cow on grass. And that's who we're going to, we're going to keep here. So again, we don't, we're not feeding grains. Um, the only time we'll use any kind of grain on an animal is in the winter when they're a little bit small and they need extra energy and their life is in jeopardy. Yeah. We'll, we'll use grain. Um, but at the end of the day, um, that's for a short period, of, short period of time. And our job, I feel, is to make sure that our cattle are healthy. They're growing, they're healthy, um, they're, they're getting their minerals, um, they're well fed. And this, these are the things that, that we focus on. And I just feel like that's doing a great job. And you're never gonna have everybody agree with how you do things, just like we may not agree with some other people, but we understand that that's how other people do things. And, and that's how, um, we all can have levels of our own independent thought and process. So it's, it's all a good thing. Nobody knows everything. I, I've said this in quite a few videos lately. You know, I, I, I've been on the speaking circuit myself in the world of sports training. And um, I tell you what, you know, I got paid to go on stage and talk to people about my philosophy and how I do things. And that's what I've done. But not everything I say is the holy grail either it's just hey based on my situation my circumstances and my belief this is how i do things the same is true in the world of farming not every guru is is uh you know all knowing right they had their gurus on their farm and their gurus at what they do but that doesn't mean that that they know everything it's like just because you have doctor in front of your name doesn't mean you know everything um Right, we all have something to learn, but we should all be, um, I'd say, experts of our domain and of our land and of our process and how we go about things. So that's what we aim for. That's what we shoot for. And and on this farm, that's that's what we're we're working hard for. And you know, in this channel, I've always said we're going to be as as honest about what goes on. That it's hard work and. You know, we're trying to get better as we go. And there's a lot going on here between shipping meat all over the country. Um, that's a full-time job in itself. And staying on top of everything and making sure that we're getting our our meat um, in time. And we're able to get our customers their meat within a reasonable time. And being a small farm and a small, um, using a small processor, you know, there's delays that sometimes we can't avoid. Um, we try to do our best to let the customer know when things are going right and, and even when things are going wrong. Hey, we're gonna be a week or two delayed here. We're gonna be two weeks delayed here. Hey, we screwed up. We couldn't get your order to you in time. This is real, this is real stuff. And you know, transparency is, is really important whether you're um, 
whether you're right or you're wrong, you got to be transparent. And for us, you know, we're the first to say we screwed up. And if we screw up, we try to make it right. And we do the best that we can. And that's all that we can do, uh, truthfully. So, you know, there is an old saying that says the truth will set you free. And at the end of the day, too many of us, we spend our lives trying to be perfect. And the world is not perfect. We can't be perfect. So why put that kind of pressure on yourself to be perfect? And, and that's, that's a great lesson. You know, so many times we try to be perfect. So many times we try to present ourselves as perfect. But the world is imperfect. So why would we think that we can be that exception? You know, there is something about doing your best and working your butt off. For sure, always. But it's impossible to be perfect. So don't put that kind of pressure on yourself. Perfection is an illusion. And it's, it's something to aim for with the realization that you're never going to get there. Just get a little bit better, a little bit better, and a little bit better. And over time, you'll be a lot better than you were when you started. And that's the way we look at farming. That's the way I look at coaching. That's the way I look at development. That's the way I look at life. So we just chop away and, and don't put the pressure on because the pressure will kill you. And the pressure is oftentimes made up. So hang in there, everybody. Have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great life. Look at those, look at those clouds. My gosh. And uh, give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. Put your comments down below. If you need meat, we are freedomfarms.com. Scroll down below. We got a coupon code for you. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. See ya.